Welcome to the IM Group demonstration of a SharePoint 2010 workflow using K2 Black Pearl. The workflow that I'll be demonstrating is a simple salary approval process. In order to demonstrate this, we've created a simple list inside of SharePoint onto which we've attached the workflow. The workflow begins when a new item has been added to this list, at which point HR receive an email notification informing them that a new request has been put through. At this point, HR can review the application and ensure that it has been completed correctly. From there, they can decide to either approve or decline the application. Should they decide to decline the application, a task will be created for the original requester informing them that the application has been declined and that they need to ensure the, ap the application has been completed correctly. At this point, the requester can then update the original request and then resubmit for HR's further approval. If HR decides to approve the application, a new task will be created for the CEO of the company. Here the CEO will then go ahead and review the application and any comments that have been made or added to it along the way. Once again, the CEO can decide to approve the application or to decline it. After which, an email notification would be sent to the original requester informing them of the outcome. K2 also provides the idea of escalation. And this means that I've been able to add a rule to this HR approval task stating that if a request is not actioned within a certain amount of time, it will be escalated to the HR manager. They will be informed of the details of the task and that they need to ensure that someone will go ahead and action it. Let's have a look at what this means inside of SharePoint. For this demonstration, we have three key actors. We have Julie, who will be representing the requestee, Dennis, who will be representing a member of the HR team, and Erica, who will be representing the CEO for the final approval. We first go in as Julie. Inside of the salary review process, we can create a new item. Here we can say this is an item for Bob Maggio for the fiscal year of 2011. Using the people picker, we can find Bob. We can assume that Bob is on 45,000 a year at the moment and we'd like to give him a raise to 50,000 and simply save this application. Immediately as you can see, Bob has now had a request put through and that request is in progress. So now we can go ahead and close the browser and check Dennis's Outlook. And we can see that Dennis has received an email informing him that he needs to ensure that a new request for Bob has been completed correctly before approving for Erica's review. Let's go ahead and close that. If we go into SharePoint as Dennis, using the K2 work list, we can see that Dennis has been assigned this task. And here, we can review the request. So we can check the status, the date the request has been made, and the actual item itself. So we can see that this is a request for Bob, current salary is 45,000, proposed salary is 50,000. Let's go ahead and close that. Here, Dennis can decide that he's happy with this request. And then he can submit it. Once this has been submitted, we can see that he has one less, one less task to carry out. So let's go and see what Erica's SharePoint site looks like. As we can see, Erica has now been assigned this task. And if we click on it, once again, we can review the entire task. Status is active, data was started, and again, we can check the details of the request. And we can check any previous comments that 
have been made on the process. So Erica can go ahead and decide that she's happy with the request. At which point she can submit and in fact we can see that this latest request is now set to a status of completed. So if we finally go and check Julie's outlook once again we'll find an email has come through informing her that the salary review for Bob has been approved. This concludes the demonstration for the basic K2 workflow and I hope that you have found it useful.